Yep. Yeah. What's moving and shaking, boys and girls? Dane Maxwell coming at you from my beautiful home here in Des Moines, Iowa. And while I'm here for a short time, before I head back to San Diego, I wanted to kind of maybe take you up to my bedroom and show you. Uh, that sounds so funny. <laughs> take you up to my bedroom and show you a beautiful piece of art that we had created uh, from one of my favorite books ever written by Dr. David Hawkins called Power Versus Force. This is one of the books, top three in my life, that completely shifted my life entirely when I read it. And it had such an impact that I gave a couple pieces, of two pages out of the book to uh, my dear friend uh, who's holding the camera right now, who shall remain a mystery, who is one of the most talented designers I know. And I gave him these two sheets of paper and I said, create me a beautiful piece of artwork from these two sheets. So we created a four foot by eight foot mural of this, uh, out of this book. So I could look at it every day and have the favorite, my favorite pieces of this book kind of just carry with me on the day to day. So what we'll do is we'll take you up to the room. I'll show you it. I'll show you this piece of work and hopefully it can kind of inspire you as it has done me. So with that said, let's go. <clears throat> with that said, come on over and take a look at really closely what this is. So to give you some perspective, it's, it's four feet, right? By, by eight feet long. And um, we'll start with the quote over here by David Hawkins. To live with care and kindness is all that is necessary. The rest reveals itself in due time. So what we have here is a, um, these are all states of being. So you see on the left-hand side are our words that give you power. And on the right-hand side are words that give you force or negative energy or drain you. And they're kind of the, the antonym or the, or the opposites in some cases. So, um, for example... Um, cherishing is a state of being where you cherish something that gives you power. Space on the iPhone, ran out, we are back. Let me finish this up for you so you can get back to your day. The, um, where we stopped at was, uh, these are all states of being, okay? And it's really important to, the world focuses on doing. The world focuses on having. The world doesn't really focus on ways of being. And if you can start, focus on way, start focusing on ways of being, uh, your life will open up. So that's why I have all these ways of being right here. We have, um, we, we stopped at cherishing. That's a way of cherishing something's a state of being. It just gives you uh, joy versus prizing here on the right-hand side. These are all negative. This, this just completely drains you. So um, I, have, I have a couple favorite examples, but we can just kind of go through, and you can just pick out. And what I like to do is I, I bring my friends up, and I always sit them down, and I ask them, pick out your, your favorite. And there are some really, really obvious ones, like uh, healing. Healing gives you power. Uh, it's a state of being that gives you power, but irritating is a state that gives you, uh, well, obviously force. But, um, you know, what about uh, the state of being of being helpful? Really trying to help someone, that's your state of being, versus like meddling in what they're doing. Um, and so what I do uh, is I, I sit at the end of each day uh, in these chairs, and I look up at, I look up at this beautiful piece of work, and I, and, I, and, I, and I look at all the states of being, and I ask myself, where was I off the mark today? And uh, I'm off the mark every day. And um, this helps bring me back to, um, to that state of, of, of joy. And joy is my favorite word in the entire human language. There's no, more, there's no better word to me than joy. Um, we can talk more about the word joy in a minute. But um, there are some really, really important things I can leave you with. And um, let's go, let's, let me talk about a few more states of being. Um, I love beautiful. Uh, beautiful gives you power, but, but glamorous does not. Being glamorous is not. If you think about the people in Hollywood, uh, they are typically really trying to be glamorous, and you know that's not a good, healthy energy field to be in because you can feel the desperation in being glamorous. You can feel the lack of energy in trying to be glamorous. And so, um, but just being beautiful, like owning your unique beauty versus like trying to, you know, doll yourself up to be glamorous. It's just this is a <laughs> this is like the roadmap of truth. This 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 piece of work is truth, and 